Next up is FGCU. They've had six straight 20-win campaigns. They do have a new head coach, but he is a familiar face. That is Michael Fly. He's been a longtime assistant with the program, dating back to Dunk City, and he's joined by De Niro Mercurius, who's the top returning scorer on this year's team. First of all, Coach, welcome. Congratulations. What does it mean to be a head coach at FGCU? You know, it's just an honor to represent uh, this institution and program that I've been fortunate enough to kind of grow, you know, up in this program, going from third assistant to the second guy to the top assistant to head coach, and really just fortunate to be able to represent a, a winning culture and winning program. And we're excited about the direction for the future and what these guys like De Niro sitting here beside me are going to do with the program this year. As a head coach, are there certain things that principles that you want to maintain and certain things that may be a little different this year for the Eagles? Yeah, well, I think, you know, Coach Dooley did a tremendous job of building the foundation of this program on the defensive end. And so we always say, you know, defense travels, we're always going to try to come out and guard, always going to try to play with a ton of energy and, and toughness. Um, we're going to do some things differently offensively with some spacing, and I'm probably a little more um, of a freedom-oriented type guy from an offensive standpoint. You know, I'm big on guys taking open shots, but having the ability to go and make plays. But, you know, we've we've tweaked some things and changed some things, but also when you win six out of seven league titles, you know, you don't want to change too much. De Niro, how do you like the changes so far, and what's noticeable in terms of the differences? Um, i say the biggest thing that's, that's different is um, definitely the freedom among the guys. Um, we all play without the without a leash, and we all play free-minded. Uh, not to say we didn't before, but uh, with Coach Fly, it's a little different, um, different play style. Um, but at the same time, we all appreciate it, and we all grateful for the opportunity. Coach, I know you have a lot of scoring to replace on this year's group. You lost your top three scores from a year ago. How do you go about doing that? I know you have some really talented transfers along with guys who are back, like De Niro. Yeah, well, I think obviously we lost some proven scores and we lost some really good talent. But on any team, anytime, whether it's the NBA and somebody signs in free agency or it's a college program and people graduate and move on, you know, other guys step up. You know, I think De Niro is a great example. You know, recruiting him and watching him at junior college, you know, he was an 18 point per game score and did a bunch of different things. And then he came in last year and really filled a role for our team as a defender and catch and shoot guy. And, you know, we had so many dynamic offensive weapons on the perimeter with Christian Terrell and Brandon Goodwin and Zach Johnson. You know, he could have easily done a lot of the things those guys were doing, but he accepted a role to make sure that we won 23 games and won the league again. And so I'm excited for guys like him and Christian Carlisle and Rayshon Scott and Brian Thomas and guys like that to step into roles where they're, you know, there's more expected of them. And, and I'm fully confident they're going to be able to deliver on that. And uh, that's part of why you recruit at a high level and continue to build a program, too. We try to make sure that, you know, whenever guys leave the program, there's a plan in place. You know, when graduation happens, the next guy steps up. And we talk a lot about that next man up mentality. So I'm excited for the year that he's going to have. And obviously, Troy Baxter and Hanif Cheatham, you know, we brought in Decardo Day as a junior college transfer, Caleb Caddo and Zach Scott. And then you add the guys that are returning. You know, I think we've got a nice team and nice nucleus now it's just putting everything together De Niro you're a guy who transferred in and a lot of the guys that were mentioned are guys who transferred how do you help make those guys comfortable around you so they acclimate quickly to FGCU basketball uh, well I said before I got to FGCU um, I played at other institutions where um, I, I learned different play styles and I learned um, uh, different things from other coaches so just from my experience alone uh, I can be able to coach the guys that's younger than me to to let them know my experiences and let them know what I went through to help them adjust to what college has to offer. And in terms of you, Coach, I know you mentioned some of the newcomers that are on board of the transfers. Who do you think has a chance to make the biggest impact early on in the season? Well, you know, we've talked a lot about the strength of our team being in numbers and in depth. You know, I don't think we're going to have one guy going out and winning games for us. I think it's going to really be a group effort. But, you know, we don't recruit guys to not play. And I talk about that a lot. You know, when we were bringing a guy into a program, if somebody goes down, then the next guy should be ready to play. You know, obviously, Troy Baxter is a talent. You know, he was a highly rated player and highly recruited player coming out of high school. Didn't get a chance to play a ton at UNLV, but we think he's got a lot of upside and a lot of natural ability. 
you know, you look at Hanif Cheatham, who's already scored a thousand points in the Big East and was all rookie team in that league. You add Cedric Cashmere, who's also a thousand point scorer and shot 45% from three last year. Dicardo Day Irish double figures on a 25 win junior college team. That's a really good program. And then you bring in two freshmen from really good AU programs here in the state of Florida and high school programs that played in the state final four and won multiple state championships between them. So I think any of those guys that we brought in on a given night can have a big impact. And again, I think our team is going to be structured around strength and numbers. So I, I really think it'll depend on the night. I think any of those guys from Cedric to Haney to Troy to Ricardo, who are a little bit older guys, but even Zach and Caleb can step in and have a big night on, on any given night. And FGCU will begin its quest to go back to the NCAAs when they visit Illinois State on November the 6th.